hello 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 welcome back to the shoe snob unboxing videos one take wonders here we are with a brand new a brand new brand on the series uh i've written about them a million times on the blog but i haven't done an unboxing video so they wanted to give it a try and here we are the brand in question is parisian powerhouse septième largeur uh uh, obviously, I'm not saying that great because my French is not amazing, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's as close as I'm going to get. Uh, and what that means is seventh width. Uh, Septième Largeur is now, I want to say, around 10 years old, uh, and they've done a fantastic job. They were pioneers to offering ready-to-wear patinas, um, where they bought a collection of crushed shoes and then offered you any basically any patina you wanted on that and it catapulted them to start them in the in the French shoe industry um, and have been you know very popular worldwide as well with um, uh, what's the word uh, they have shops in other countries in Asia I forget what it's called when you like uh, franchises so they have franchise shops in uh, Singapore and and Vietnam uh, excuse me not Vietnam uh, Taiwan and like four or five shops in, in France. So they've done well really because they offer amazing value. They have great quality shoes, they're made in Spain and they are at very uh, reasonable prices. So you guys are probably wondering what's inside. Let's take a look. All right, so what we have here, model is <laughs> Moissac, I think. Uh, it's part of their new autumn winter collection. The color I got is the Crust Caramel, uh, which is like a really rich tan color. Again, I got a UK six and a half. And the last shape is 7505. Right, here we go. So we got a pull out box. We got a little note from the owner. I'm very good friends, I'm not gonna lie. Here's a full description, the full uh, trans transparency. I'm good friends with the owners of Chef Jam Lager. In fact, very good friends. Every time I go to Paris, we are together, and uh, I really, I really like them. They're great people. That's why I enjoy supporting great brands. That's what it's all about for me. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter your shoes. What matters is the people behind them. So, good friends of mine. We've uh, and we've been friends for a long time since the very beginning of my brand. So, you know. I enjoy supporting them and I've always loved what they do. So anyway, just thought I mentioned that as a disclaimer for you, as a full transparency. But I will always be honest, no matter what. And I think honesty always actually helps, even for your friends. So here we go. We've got the bags separate, right? Nice bags lined with, uh, so they're like a, a twill on the outside and like a flannel wool fleece type deal on the inside. Pretty nice bags. I like the color. It's like a rich wine color with the pull strings. Nice bags. Big for the big old boots that I'm about to pull out. Let's take a look. All right. Oh, quickly, spare set of laces. Let's see. There's a few other goodies. A shoehorn, metal shoehorn, and a business card. All right. Let's take a look at the boots now. So, I guess you would call this a derby boot, a jumper boot. It's got a nice Vibram sole. Let's take a look. Classic rounded last. Give you the bird's eye view. Beautiful boot in a beautiful color. Uh, very robust, but surprisingly not heavy. Oh, forgot to show you that sole there. So, nice Vibram commando sole. Great for these New York winners. Uh, the most Moisak. All right, beautiful boot. Uh, let's take a look at it. <clears throat> we got a storm welt on the boot, which is great because that helps to really protect for those rainy days. I'm trying to find any kind of flaws or issues, which I don't really see any. Um, I see little dings from the shipment, uh, but again, it's the problem with uh, shipping stuff in this day and age, especially when there are a set of shoe trees, which there are, I'll pull those out later. Um, 
they get roughed up in the shipment. Uh, all right. I notice a little bit of wrinkling on the leather, but you know what? Again, I feel like I gotta explain this because I've had this issue in my own brand and I know people complain about this with other brands. To make a shaft in a boot be all leather is not an easy thing. First of all, you have to cut a big piece of leather. Second of all, at the end here, right around this area, you're gonna have the finishing of the inside. Um, I don't know why in these live videos I forget English, but uh, you have the stiffener, the heel counter, the stiffener. So inside this leather, between the leather and the lining is a stiffener that keeps the shape. Now always after that, there's no structure. It's just leather and lining and that's where it bends. So naturally the leather is gonna bend here and when you wear it, it's gonna bend like crazy. It's gonna crease like crazy. So what I never understood is when people wanna complain about creased leather in the shaft because it's inevitable on no matter what brand you're wearing. It could be the best brand in the world, it could be the cheapest brand in the world. Unless that's like some kind of pleather, it's gonna crease. So, and it does that because it's pretty much deconstructed up here with just, you know, it's just plain leather that has to keep its form. Now these actually keep their form really well. Some boots uh, don't stay so, I don't wanna say stiff, but they don't stay so upright. So this actually has really good upright, uh, upright formation, but there's a little bit of crease on the leather. Again, it's natural. And at their price point, if you expect anything more, then you, you, you got to learn a thing or two about what you get versus what you pay for. So other than that, little small thing, which really has zero consequence because your pant covers it and it's going to wrinkle even more when you wear the boot five steps. There's nothing, uh, there's nothing really to speak out bad against these. <clears throat> they are a phenomenal boot. The price is 325 euros. Now, the only thing I did, I don't, I don't know, that's a European price. I'm not sure if that's, if, if like when they know that I'm looking at their site from the US, if they show me a non-VAT price or if that's actually less when you input your shipping address. Uh, I haven't actually done that. So they're 325 euros for Europeans. They could be even less for those of you outside of Europe. If they are 20% less, <laughs> It's a crazy price. That's at uh, like 270 euros or something, 260 something, which is just crazy good. Crazy good for a boot of this quality with a solid Vibram sole. Obviously, uh, most of you people understand Vibram. Uh, you'll know the brand, but I'll tell you what, it's expensive. It's probably more expensive than a leather sole, which is rare because rubber is almost never the same price as leather, but Vibram is expensive. So. It's nice, it's, it's, it's odd, but it's great to see Vibram on a, I don't, I don't know how to put on it, economic, economic price brand on a brand that's not five, six, seven hundred dollars. So I think that's pretty commendable. Uh, I tried the shoes on again, um, six and a half usually all the time in a UK sizing. The six and a half fit perfect. The, the four foot is a little bit, um, uh, I don't want to say it's spacious. I'm just say it's a, it's a, it's got space. I couldn't have taken a smaller size. It was perfect. It allows me to wear a slightly heavier sock than what I have on today. I have a, a thin cotton sock, uh, so I could sneak on a, a thin wool sock, which is great because that's what I like to wear in the winter. Um, yeah, so a standard true to size fit. Now. Don't take that as across the board because I do know that Seth Jam Lager has some last. I believe it's the 199 that fits small. And in that last, I tend to go for a UK seven because the UK six and a half is just a bit too tight for me. But uh, their Autumn 20 collection is very nice. Uh, I previewed it. I'm gonna write about it on the blog soon because there's a lot of cool models. I'm actually, they've taken quite a different direction to past years. And I think it's quite cool. Uh, the beauty of Septiem Lager, why I've liked them so much is they're, they like push the boundaries of classic where they have very classic ideas, but with little subtle French style twists that make them a little bit more unique and elegant, in my opinion, uh, without going overboard. For those of you that have, you know, researched other French brands, some of them are just 
over the top. Septian Lager has really done a fine job of putting that French style onto classic models without going overboard. And that's what I love about them. So you get a little bit of edge, uh, but you get to keep it classic. And then the colors are always infinite with them. And anything you want, I'm pretty sure can be patinaed too. It's as simple as emailing them up. Uh, and that's the beauty of their brand is that you have ready wear patinas ready to go. And I don't know how long they quote to do their patinas. I think it's maybe a week. Um, that won't be right now considering the way the world is, but they are shipping. And uh, <clears throat> But if you want a patina, that might be a little bit delayed. But uh, yeah. Super great offering. I love these boots. I think this is a solid model for any autumn winter collection. The sole is going to make it great for those rough weather days. Uh, knowing the leather as well, it's going to take a nice beating in the rain. It's going to give you a little natural patina, which allows you to do some creative polishing. I've gotten lazy with polishing, but every now and then I got to break out the kit and do it. Uh, I just I wanted to show something else because I forgot to show this. One thing I noticed that was really interesting and cool was the way they lined the boots. So you can see that on the edges of the tongue are extra pieces of lined leather from the lining on the shaft to the tongue that connect, which make these pretty much waterproof. Now, we're not going to say that something couldn't happen, but I mean, that's pretty darn waterproof for a dress boot. Um, you got your foot really protected there, which I think is very smart. And when I tried them on and, and cinched up the laces, I didn't feel any, any kind of, you know, annoyance with that extra leather. But I thought that was a very, a very, very clever feature. Um, very nice. And let me show you what their shoe trees look like. Now I did ask the owner, shoe trees do not come with the, the shoes or the boots, but he was kind enough to throw me in one. Uh, here we go. These look like beech wood. They're not smelling like cedar. Pretty sure they're beech wood. They got the branded, got the little size here. Got a nice hook to bring them out of the boots. Nice set of shoe trees. Those can be purchased as an additive, um, as an additional piece. Again, let me just look at all the details. Lining leather is nice. Okay, six and a half. Da -da 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 -da. Solid set of boots. 325 euros. If that's even the, the full price, which comes to, uh, I think it was like 380, $390, something around there, below 400. Still, for this quality, for Vibram Soles, very top-notch European leather with no real flaws or anything on it. I think that's an incredible price uh, to get for a solid boot that I know will last a long time. I've actually had lots of Septiem Lager models over my years, and uh, they they wear well. And, and the owner the owner actually wears them to the ground, and, and they keep going strong. So. I have nothing but good things to say about this brand. Naturally, they're my friends, but I wouldn't ever talk about a brand that I don't back anyway because it's just not in my nature to tell fibs. So, check them out. The model is Moissac. Again, you'll see it in several different colors. I really like this kind of rich caramel tan. I think that's a beautiful color. Being that I always wear denim jeans, it's a no-brainer for me because I think it's a nice combination. Yeah. Check out the Autumn Winter Collection. I'm actually in, stay tuned on the blog because I'll do a big write up on it. Uh, as always, I will do a further post about these, give more detailed shots, talk a bit more about the model, etc., etc. So do stay tuned for the blog. If you don't <coughs> follow the blog, check it out, theshoesnotblog.com. Subscribe for more in depth uh, photo posts. And obviously, on the blog, there's way more posts about other shoemakers that I don't get to handle in person. Uh, in my unboxing videos. So like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy, please share as well. I do appreciate all the support. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.